Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 45 of the Let's Play Europe Universalis for Imperium Universalis. The land of Hannibal, where we're currently still fighting the, uh, the good old Romans. Now, it has been a, uh, it has been a night since I last recorded, uh, a couple of days since I last recorded because of, uh, well, I just, I recorded two sessions and I've been honestly feeling garbage lately. So, it's been one of those things where I've just done what I can. Oh my fucking god, that is, that is some maneuver on that fucking general. Six maneuver. I got a good general for attacking and defending. I just didn't get a good general for fucking anything else. I was gonna say, this is where I fucking lose. I was, I was assuming I was going to lose that fucking fight, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Rome, give me my land. Thank you. Okay. We have took over Italia. Uh, do we... Does this count as having land in... Uh Goal. Where is it? Uh, the there it is, for Odin Gaul. I don't know, I don't think it does. And I still don't understand why we're getting asked to send people to fucking Sparta to compete, but okay. And have we started building? Oh, we've done, yeah, done, yeah. I just keep building. They're an important building. They must be built. Okay, at this point, I think we're just waiting to turn everyone into 52k. Without going any more over our fucking limit than we already have. Okay, the next war is to get rid of Rome's LC ac access. Eventually, I will go to war with Israel, but right now I'm enjoying just watching Israel exist. It's honestly quite refreshing. Uh, can I have another priest? No. I'll take the guy who makes construction cheaper then. Yeah, we do need to stay up there at some point. We also need to kill some of these uh, little bastards over there, but we'll get to it. Everything good. good. Good stuff comes to it, those who wait. Yeah, so either lose stability or gain stability. Waste 100 gold and get, no, get really nothing from it. Come on, game. Stop trying to make me lose stability. Oh, shit. I've still got a 52k up in there. Jesus Christ. My ability to notice shit is so low sometimes. Like Macadon and I have, have been through the fucking like been through everything together. We do so much good stuff for each other. I think the best part is like all of this is going to be is nearly is, is getting canite very quickly. Quite a bit of money in our thing. And I've got the fucking sneezes today. That's like the fifth time I've sneezed in the last three hours. Holy shit. I feel so weird seeing another hegemony. Um, sure, let's do it. Use infantry to defend the skirmishers. I feel like that's a very obvious thing to do, but sure, why not? Let's let's not think about that. Look at that extra thirty percent we could get for our skirmishes. It's not something we're gonna ever get, but you know, it'd be nice. 
I oh, like how in this fucking save the assholes can colonize over here correctly. Second, I fucking want them to colonize there nicely. No one fucking does it. That's what I get for Annex and all, I guess. Oh well. You're a Roman tributary. Well, I think Rome is still worth more than a single war, so. And that's obviously if you don't you don't increase it to a hot like like you know, you don't increase it because of the fact that. Uh, Seriously, game? I would fucking. Just, will you, do you mind? Give me this. Fuck you, I'm just gonna fucking level that guy with a little five, you cunts. Oh, yeah, how is our trade going? 70, 60. Seriously? Even with all the fucking ships we've got. Which total up. We did lose some ships, that is true. There you go. You know what? Let's fucking let's just state this shit. Um, that's all the shit we can state. Good. That will help with some of the conversions, I believe. Definitely help with my fucking economy, though. Beautiful. Um, Italia is being pushed over here. It doesn't really matter where Italia gets pushed. I have control of pretty much everywhere it could go, so it's not really an issue. And I have odd number. These fleet it upsets me. Oh, you have to go up to 175. There we go. And you, 15. Well, you're going up to fucking 175 as well. Still not pulling enough money out of these ones. Uh, that's the Egyptus. So Phoenicia. Egyptus. And Aegean. Oh fuck it, you can go up to 250 as well. I don't know how many ships I just built, but I built a lot of them. Just gonna turn my forts off so I have a little bit more money coming in. Do you know what? I'm not even scared of like rebellions right now. Just turn that fucker off. <sighs> money, money, money. To think how much we've converted with only two diplomats and our vassals helping, of course. Like, all of Iberia and all of Italia. Like, we've done a really good fucking job. The amount... How many ships do we have right now? We're about to have 3,450 ships. I love it. Skirmisher ideas done. Guerrilla Warfare. We now have 25% combat ability on our skirmishers, which should make them uh, make our armies a little bit more effective. Admittedly, hopefully more than a little more, but you know. I don't have high hopes. Yeah, this game is definitely going to lag as all these ships are created and thrown into the navies. I may just have to kick Sparta until they're so down that they can't f compete against me in with trade. Just so I don't have to put up with them trying to steal my trade. Because I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hurting my feelings, them trying to steal my trade like that. Fuck it, we'll stay over there as well. Why not? We won the boxing, wrestling, and Sidon race. So we won all the important ones, obviously. Ibericum, we don't need any more fleet there. So really, I don't even know if we needed a fleet there to begin with. 
up here. I mean, we could have a few more ships, but I don't see the point. We're doing what we can to max out our income here. I mean, worst comes to worst, we could just literally upgrade all of our uh, trade centers to level 2. Just to make sure we've got a lot of... Just to make sure they're all, like, usable to us. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade every one of them to level 2. So basically, it just requires me looking over all of our land to see if we've got any. I know pretty much all of this land states, so it shouldn't take me long. Once I find them, it's, you know, it should take me long to find them is what I'm trying to say. Okay, that should be all of those ones done. Italia already looks done. My islands should be the ones where it's going to be... I'm going to probably have a lot more. The fact that I don't own that island upsets me, but my ally owns it, so I'm just going to let them off. I'm just going to say I own it by extension, and therefore it's okay. Once all my navies have stopped upgrading, uh, stopped off build building, we'll, uh, well, we'll put ourselves in a position to, oh my god, we need to upgrade our navies, son of a bitch. Okay, thank god we're saving money. Is it both of them? Well, that's 28 grand I'm not going to see for, uh, I'm going to, yeah, that's 28 grand I need to spend. Holy shit. How the fuck has Chin got such a large army but hasn't finished off all these out? Oh my god. China just looks like they're fucking having a big ass brawl. And that, of course, is hilarious. Okay, so we'll upgrade, up, we'll upgrade the first fleet first, which makes the most sense, because, you know, it's the fleet with my actual, uh, what's it called, my uh, flagship in it. Macadon, why are you at war and you're not letting us, like, why haven't you invited us? You make no sense, my friend, you make no sense. Israel, I am proud of you. You are doing such a good job. You're also annexing Libya. Okay, then you're going to start stepping on my toes, which is where I'm going to start getting a little bit annoyed with you. I'm assuming it's the, yeah, it's the province getting converted. Yeah, so once it's converted, you'll not have intolerance. And it won't have active missionary. Take away 6.75 and, and add to it 4.3. They will probably be happy, actually. Like, like, they'll probably not have a single issue after being converted. Probably being the key word. Fourteen grand and we'll upgrade these guys. Wait, Sab oh my god, Sabaz is the one I made. They're the one I made, Canite. Holy shit, I forgot about that. I actually forgot I'd made some of them Canite. Like I knew I'd made little bits of Canite up and down, but I didn't realize they were one they were one of the ones. We 
have, wait, we have eight nations who follow Canite? Who? So we've got three between me and my vassals. We've got a fourth there. Ah, they're over here. Syria, Awad. Okay, so we've got a few of... Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, we're about to have enough money for our navy. Wait. <gasps> They're no longer eligible? Wait, who has a better income than they do? It can't be ours. Holy shit, it's ours. Well, I'm perfectly happy with my, uh, the, the, the naval hegemony, if I'm honest. Due to the sheer amount of ships I have, I am, uh, quite happy with what we've done. If I do say so myself. Get some new uh, um, uh, new men soon. How much money are we bringing in? We're bringing in 677 profit at the moment. They're trying to ruin my trade. It's not going to work. Oh. <sighs> A pity. Could have spared them if they had not tried. If they were not so vehemently against me. How close is Etruscan to being dis like being destroyed as like a thing? It's a daikon center as a single province. Tamaritan has two. Uh. Zavarianism 4, Baltic 9. Etruscan have 22 because they have some of them over the mountains as well. So wiping out that religion isn't exactly going to be easy. Not that I always, always not that I even want to do that, but still. You know, let's throw down a few of these Gov districts. I may as well just build the expensive big ones because, you know, why not? They'll knock it down a lot quicker than anything else will. So we've got our Punic Peltists. I think Armored Elephants are the best, gonna be the best out of those two. Apparently the African Riders. I'm gonna go with my Armored Elephants, so fuck you game. And then apparently it's Advanced Citizen Swordsman. That's what we'll go with. Hey Rome. What did the Carthage? What did the uh, what did the Roman? What did the farmer say to the Roman? Oh shit! That's a bunch of Carthaginians. He did say that, but that's you know you get the fucking point. Wait. Okay, we're gonna do this for border conquest on your capital. No, on on Ravenna. Uh, on Ravenna. Send our navy around. I should have given you a general. I'm going to put you back to there, let you siege that, and then we'll get you a general. He's 22 and he's not the best. Okay, we'll leave him. Just. Uh, fuck. Uh, the 
Fuck. God, God's sake. Fucking just let me slip. There we go. Thank you. You over there. You just pull back. Okay, so we obviously want to like cut them off from the sea completely. And we'll do that, I guess. That'll be our uh, piece. I'm a little bit insulted that you destroyed some of my ships. Now I'm going to have to fucking build them again, you'll cunt. Do you know how expensive and annoying that is? Probably not. So fuck you. But unfortunately, we're actually going to have to end this part here. If you have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord, all the links down below, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.